Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. I'm happy to have reached a new milestone in while well, developing the game, not Metro 3. So I want to show basically what I have in front of me. What I've been working on lately in order to have a better game is the artificial intelligence system. So the, the whole goal basically is to be able to both play against an opponent on the internet or to play against an AI and basically I have already a system in place that automatically detects whether somebody is against you or not and plays the AI if nobody's there. But if you know about Not Metroid 3 you've probably seen that I already have some kind of AI in place. The problem is that in the past it was really really dumb Basically all it was doing was trying to see if there was something it could build and building it. It wasn't really able to build complex structures such as mines and stuff because the only event in which it could build a mine was if it happened to have somebody on metal. But metal is really sparse on the map. <clears throat> the likelihood of that is pretty slim. So I designed a bunch of algorithms to automatically compute all the steps that the AI needs to do in order to build something, all the other buildings that it needs to build before it builds the building that it actually wants to build, as well as a few, albeit not perfect right now, algorithms in order to do pathfinding. Um, and this includes a bunch of slightly complex situations such as for example if you have to walk through a river or if you have to cross a sea if you have to cross a mountain range this requires building other things in order to get you there uh, cars for example or boats and that requires more thinking and more algorithms on the AR's part you can see on the video that the basic thing it is trying to do is basically to compute the quickest way to build skyscrapers and sometimes it needs to build factories in order to get cars, in order to get on the mountain range in order to build more of those skyscrapers and soonish you're going to see that it needs to cross the sea or maybe it is a lake, I'm not really sure and in order to do that it's going to have to create a dock and boats. I should add that the game rules currently stops you at a population of 100 folks until you create a university. Currently the AI is able to build a university. I was just trying to try out building the largest metropolis that I could do so I didn't really hook it up to some you know primitive that is able to detect that we hit the limits and then create universities accordingly but it is certainly something I'll do in the future so yes it is pretty dumb because we have started to have a huge metropolis with a lot of buildings that are basically unoccupied because there are just not enough people and they can't grow one of the interesting things about the situation is that if you were trying to fight against the AI, it would probably get to 100 folks quicker than you could currently. Of course, the purpose isn't either to flood the whole map by the AI and make it impossible for you to win because the AI is so much faster than you are. Obviously, the AI doesn't have to move the mouse and things like that, so it can actually be faster than you. I'll basically tweak it so that the AI only acts when you act and otherwise it stays pretty much silent. Question: Is this arrangement of skyscraper building optimal? The answer is no it isn't. But if it was perfectly optimal there would be little to no farms at all. Which is too bad because farms are actually useful in order to buy certain things. Say, you can probably see at the top left that I have a number of farms and actually this would be better represented as wealth. Wealth is basically a currency. You can buy things with it. Certain buildings for example. So it's pretty good to have a good number of wealth. 
That being said, every step in the building of a skyscraper is kind of logical and like there is no weird behavior. It always acts exactly as you would when you're not being optimal about building a skyscraper. It isn't perfect, but it is human-like. It is still pretty challenging to beat, but it makes mistakes, which means that you can beat it. I think that the good balance is that it should make mistakes that make sense, that you would make, and not mistakes that are completely bullshit. Alright, so this was interesting to see at normal speed, so I'm going to speed it up to see how it develops. You can probably notice that it's basically creating factories and destroying them. Um, this is kind of a contentious point. Basically, the system currently tries to locate the closest spot where it can physically build a skyscraper, and sometimes, and usually in fact, it needs to destroy the nearby factories that it already built in the past. I have actually a list of things that the AI is not supposed to destroy, so I might add factories to the lot, but I'm not really sure. I have to try a couple of things and see if it's really necessary. The creation of the AI will actually go through a number of steps. Um, so right now I am building all the right primitives to do the basic things that you need to do in the game and later on I'm going to build some machine learning systems to be able to actually have intelligent strategies and be able to beat the game ultimately. Part of the primitives that I need to build intelligent machine learning algorithms is the ability to create a metropolis which is what I'm showing right now and then later on I'm going to improve the pathfinding algorithms and then I'll need a couple more algorithms to wage war. Obviously a big part of war is having the intelligence to put small outposts here and there and be able to deploy forces from them. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching this not very technical video. If you want to see other videos, most of them are much more technical and interesting in some ways. Thanks for watching this one. See you.